Hi everybody, Waxfraud here and welcome back to episode 5 of the Hardcore series. We are down in the depths here. I'm actually getting more iron and that actually reminds me. I need to I, I need to make an iron farm. So I think that's what we're going to do in today's episode. Actually, I know that's what we're going to do. Uh, if we actually swim over here, you'll notice there's a little bit of a name at this geode over here as well. With a spider web, which makes me think that there is a mine shaft here. Uh, so that's kind of nuts. Um, so we'll have to take a look in here as well. So this is pretty weird. We have like a naturally generated just one by one hallway here. So or one by three hallway. That's kind of actually really strange. But I want to I'm gonna get myself some basalt, some uh, calcite here, some amethyst. Sounds pretty nice. Let's get all this stuff. Oh my god, we got a little skeleton in here trying to get us. What are you doing, bud? What are you? Okay, all right. I guess he can get us. This guy is just trying to shoot at me. Just just chilling in the water. I. Oh my god, this is okay. We have a nice little cave over here too. I do see some diamonds down there. If we jump up. Let's get this guy, put him out of his misery. What are you doing, bud? You seem to have like a, a nice little waterfall shield here. Actually, I get the torches back up. Let's torch this place up. If I can get this over here. Oh, what's up, Squid? How you doing? Actually, wait. Is this whole area underwater? Oh, this whole place is underwater. We need to go grab the door. We have... Oh my god, we have so much... Okay, this... Wow, this is a gold mine. In the last hardcore series, a lot of people grilled me in the comments because I accidentally took all of the budding blocks out for the amethyst. So, not doing that this time. I'm going to leave all of them here. We're, oh, we almost took it out. Almost took it out. We're going to come back and uh, we're going to take all these shards out one by one. Like I'll take I'll take the shards out now. But oh, actually, I needed silk touch for that. That see, that was not good. What what's what am I doing? Why am I doing that? Oh boy, we are. Oh man, this is good. This is great. We are sitting on a big diamond mine basically right now. There's so many ores down here. We got iron, copper, gold, lapis, redstone. Basically everything you can think of. We got glow squid down here too. Let's uh, wait a second. Let's get the fortune. I only have fortune two still. I, I really don't know why I have that. I need to get a fortune three pickaxe. That's gonna be something I do this episode too. I'm gonna get a fortune three pickaxe. Heading back to dump everything off at the house. I forgot to bring my uh, boat with the chest. That was pretty dumb. 1.19 allows boat with the chest. And actually, I did forget. What are these? These dudes are still floating out here from episode three. Like, why? Why are you guys out here? Do I need to, like, get you guys out of your misery? Like, what's what's going on? Are you guys okay? I'm just going to say begone. And I might say begone. Uh, begone. Ow. Begone. I might even say begone and begone and begone. Those guys were chilling there for a long time, believe me. Uh, so we're going to go back. Yeah, I'm going to dump this stuff off. And we're actually going to chop all these mangrove trees down too. We need a lot of mangrove wood today. I'm going to build an iron farm. I want to build something around the iron farm just like we did with the mob farm here. But this time I might use some more mangrove wood. So just in case we planted a giant forest back here. We also have uh, a new friend in town. We have this sheep right over here. And uh, he's never getting sheared. He's actually going to stay in this boat permanently. We decided on stream. And by the way, guys, twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Thanks for joining on stream anytime that you do. Uh, yeah, this we decided on stream that this sheep is... Uh, it's, it, we're never leaving this boat. The sheep is staying in the water because if he gets on the grass, he's going to get his fur back, or wool back, not fur. And uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. So you stay there forever, bud. This is, he's, a, he's a world staple. But yeah, coming over here, it just makes you think that we have a lot of stuff that we need to get done. Like, look at this. This little carrot farm. I got This needs to be a better carrot farm. What's this guy doing here? How did you get here? Also, these cows, they're, they're literally pouring out of the sides. Of, look at this. They're literally, right now, it's literally happening as we speak. They're pouring out of the sides of the, of this area because we, we do not have enough. We don't, we need a barn. We, we really need a barn, but I also need an iron farm. I don't know which one to make first. We do have a dilemma. We have some sheep over here that need a home too. So I do want to do a barn, but I think an iron farm is the way to go. We really just need unlimited iron because I, otherwise, I, I mean, if I get an iron farm, I don't have to keep going down into the ocean to keep mining for iron or going down into the tunnel behind me to keep mining for iron. Came back down to the geode. We have a bunch of clusters here. I'm actually going to use these for more shards. I need to actually go to the fully grown ones for the shards, but we need some stained glass for a couple of different projects. If I want to use a uh, XP farm or make an XP farm and be able to see into it, the stained glass is... The way to go so i'm gonna take a bunch of these shards and make as much stained glass as i can for right now because eventually i'd like to make an xp farm oh my god what do you know we got a brand new geode right above a bunch of ores this is perfect we got two geodes now coming back again to the home base but this time with a full inventory of basically everything we we're going to need for a while um i mean i know we're making an iron farm now but it's it's nice to have a an assortment of all this stuff and also you know what might as well show you on stream recently we've been decorating the interior a little bit we're not going to look at the third floor because that's just that's untouched but right here it's getting places this is uh the second floor almost done first floor this room is almost done this room might be the most done room but everything is almost done 
These guys have just straight up invaded my house. They're everywhere. They're like home inspectors now. So in order to distract myself right before getting, oop, gotta get up here, right before getting the uh, iron farm started, I'm actually going to make myself a little ladder. I haven't done this yet in my house, like a way to get down and up really quickly instead of going up the stairs. I'm just going to make a nice little ladder like this and we can brighten everything up just by like every other one, lighting it up with some bone meal, kind of like this. And I actually really like this a lot. Sweet, yeah, now we can just get down here with really smoothly. Yeah, this is nice. And we have a little bit of light right here. It's not so congested. Oh, this is perfect. Something I had completely forgotten about was the name tag in the process of uh, getting the iron. We need to put a name tag on the, and also don't mind the trading hall. It's almost done getting that done on stream a little bit. It's just some busy work that needs to get done. But yeah, we're gonna go down back to this tunnel because we had actually part of the way through the tunnel had found a big opening of a cave that had some diamonds. We went in it, it was nice. We got some diamonds, got some redstone, got some XP, but we also noticed a mine shaft. But back then we didn't have any armor on, so I decided not to go. Now that we have not netherite, let's go do it. Wow, this, yeah, this thing is huge. I forgot how long this tunnel was. With this thing just goes, we've spent hours on this thing. So I really don't want to deal with you right now. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, it is right, yep, there it is, right up there. If we can go up in there, we can probably find, hopefully find a name tag. We're actually just gonna platform all the way up there. We should be getting close. Yeah, we're not not too bad. And there's actually not that many mobs up here right now. There's a couple zombies that saw us from pretty far. Those things can just see us from so far away. It's actually kind of crazy how far away they can see you from. Let's make some stairs here, get on over. I do hear some zombies. The worst thing right now would be for a creeper to just come out of nowhere. That's what we do not want. Running up, here goes nothing. I don't see, okay, wow. Okay, that was extremely lucky. Extremely, oh my god, extremely lucky. Let's go. Okay, we have a name tag literally on the first chest. This is perfect. And we got some detector rails, some activator rails. I don't know if I've ever used any detector rails, not gonna lie. And these cobwebs actually might be of use at some point in the future, so I'm gonna take them too. So now that we have everything together, um, I think we're going to probably put an iron farm. I just want it to be a little bit further away from the little village that was created inside the trading hall. So we're gonna put it on the other side of the frog sanctuary and probably just put the iron farm on the top of this little hill. We're gonna have to clear out these trees though, that's one thing. Do a little bit of terraforming here and there. You definitely wanna make sure that everything's super flat because in the video, um, it looks like that it is a super flat. Also in the comments, it is. <laughs> there's a lot of people that are super helpful in the comments of Shulkercast video, which again, I will put the link for down below. Uh, but there's a lot of really helpful people in the comments to say make sure that everything is super flat, otherwise it will definitely start, uh, the iron golems, I mean, well, well they're gonna start, uh, spawning in areas that you don't want to, so make sure everything is super flat, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Gonna start this build off with a nice little piston right here. Couple of redstone repeaters and some redstone dust to go up here to make sure the repeaters are all the way down, uh, like basically mass clicked right here. Make sure to place your beds with the end of the bed facing towards the pistons. Got some composters here with some trap doors, and then we're actually gonna start making the tube with the trap doors here. You're just gonna go up, up at three here. Get that glass wall going around here before you end up getting the villagers over. And we do have three villagers that have been hanging out right outside our house. I'm gonna end up just kind of skirting those guys right on over. All right there, come on now. Please don't fall backwards. Let's go, take an, all right, come on. He's just, he's literally shaking his head now. No, what are you doing? All right, just a couple more, there we go. Just a push, one more push, and you're in. There we go, my dude. All right, so we basically just have to wait for him to be an adult. Come down here, break this minecart. You are good to go, my dude. All right, we are slamming Bo Bamin. Let's uh, give them a roof here so nothing can happen to them. Wow, so I was actually running around looking for a zombie, and there literally is one that just went straight up, just directly up here. And uh, he just, he, he came, oh god, okay, he saw me. I was gonna say, he came up looking for the villagers and uh, just made my job a lot easier. So I'm gonna name this guy, Guy Man, and uh, I'm gonna take him up to the tippy top, see if I can lure him into the hole up here. And he's in. Okay, so I really gotta get down there and name him for sure. So let's go, bam, we're gonna name you Buddy Guy. You gotta get down one more, and you have now been named. What's up, guy man? Oh, be gone. All right, so nothing's spawning yet, but I'm pretty sure it's because the villagers can't see the zombie, but we'll fix that in just a moment. I got the lava protected by the signs, got the water that's gonna be moving the, oh, what's up? I see an enderman out there. The iron golems hopefully should spawn up here, and all of them should go into, or the iron, I mean, should go into these hoppers, which 
in turn should go down to the bottom. I know we have a long system of chests and hoppers here. These guys can't see the zombie yet, so I think what might need to be done is this. That for sure is it, because there's an iron golem. If uh, I, Now I understand what is being done wrong. I need to put another water bucket up there. Aha, so we'll take this guy out real quick. We're going to put one in the corner. We'll put another one in the corner, and now ye will be forced in here. Sorry about that, dude. This is, yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of brutal. <laughs> so, uh, these guys are just freaking out constantly, forever. They're just, they're never going to be done freaking out. We actually already have some iron, and it's been like two minutes, three minutes, so this is great. There's already been two, maybe three iron golems in there. Now, what we got to do is decorate. So, let's see if we can build a tower around this thing. Obviously, we're going to use deep slate, probably going to use the mangrove wood, too. First things first, we're going to make a giant rectangle believe the tower is tall enough maybe now we're gonna work on the red roof on the side with the mangrove wood and uh, we basically just brought it up one by one uh actually we can jump down once i'm done with this to take us i just want to take a look and see what it's like i really hope i didn't make it too tall let's go bing bang bop and bing one last time actually yeah but oh god i fell really far that Actually, it's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Let's go. Let's make that go all the way around. Now we can start officially decorating the sides over here. This is going to be great. Ooh, and we can get the sides going here with a little bit of window action. Maybe a little bit of... Yeah, I like the sidings there too. Let's get some flower beds up in here. You know, that, that seems like a good idea to me. I actually decided that cobbled deep slate is what I wanted to use to, like, put the edges up here. So, kind of like what we did to the mob farm out here, so you can see that there's deep slate tiles in the middle, and then uh, the cobbled deep slate on the outside of it. I think we're going to do the same thing right here. Sorry, buddy. Thank you for the, uh, the iron, though. I appreciate you. Gotta make this a little taller over here, because now we actually have a uh, column. Like, we have a system of columns here, so if we look down, I can go back this way break these out of the way give you a nice look here so this is actually how everything's gonna go i could use chains let's see what looks like oh, yeah i think we should actually use the chains because if we put a lantern right there it looks cool but like the, the yeah the iron fence it's too wide here's what we need to do we need to go back and make a bunch of chains how many do we need we need one two three four five times four is twenty let's get twenty chains and see what that looks like I'm actually just going to break this open here, make a little window. Let's, we have a bunch of mangrove buttons. Let's boom, 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 boom. Not that, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Now we can actually sit back and do the classic beefing up of the lanterns on the edge. I don't think I'm going to actually hit any lanterns in the middle, but, but this edge definitely is going to need more. Um, posters up in here never hurt nobody except for when they're three tall. That's, that's just unacceptable. And now we can finally add the clay pots with whatever plants we want. I actually might add them in here as well. I don't know if that'll, uh, that kind of, that'll work. That'll work. Let's just keep adding them anywhere where there's some like empty space. Usually just on top of these walls is where I'll add them. We got a pretty symmetrical build here. Nobody, nobody look at the, don't look at the ground here. This will be fixed, but everything's pretty symmetrical for the most part. Making sure everything's good. Nothing looks out of the ordinary here. Now we're going to check the inside and every, oops, that was an accident. Shutting the door on myself. Make sure everything's lit over here. I don't want anything in here spawning. Ex and if you're not an iron golem, you are not allowed to spawn in here. Something's happening right there right now. That's, mm, that's a good one. But if we look in here, let's see what we got, and oh my gosh, okay, so we got one, two, three, four, almost, we're working on five stacks, we're working on the fifth stack of iron right now, that is absolutely insane. Taking a hard look at the build in the distance, this is, you know, it's not bad, it's, it's kind of, it's definitely a weird one compared to other builds that I've done, but uh, you know, it's always, it's always nice to try something new, we combined a little bit of the tower action from over here with what we have kind of done with our houses, over here and even with the trading hall back there but you know all in all i'm i'm pretty satisfied with how this looks guys i am gonna say before it turns tonight thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it episode five i'm gonna find that xp farm we're gonna find one no matter what it is zombies skeletons spiders we're gonna find one um, and yes, also before I go, I do want to thank y'all. Thanks for joining the Patreon if you did join the Patreon. And also, thanks for joining the Discord if you joined the Discord. We just hit 3,000 members. Look at me, third person sleeping. But yeah, 3,000 members in the Discord is absolutely insane. So thank you for that. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for joining. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it, guys. Stay tuned for episode 6. I mean, episode 6 is coming out soon. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, yeah, just take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Bye, everybody.